you're looking at a field of dreams. That is, if you're a Maryland wheat farmer or a University of Maryland wheat research scientist. The dream? A perfect hybrid wheat that is both adaptable to Maryland's heat and humidity and resilient to a host of crop-killing diseases. There's just one catch. None of the wheat line is perfect. That means if you're looking for wheat that has all the component together, it can fight scab, leaf rust, stem rust, heat, drought, that is not possible. Well, it was a dream, but thanks to small seed scientist Dr. Vijay Tiwari and his team, within this field might be a wheat hybrid that gives Maryland farmers what they yearn for, higher yields, disease and heat resilience, and most importantly, a profit. And so we really focus on trying to develop wheat that is disease resistant to make sure it can survive the heat and humidity. So our research often focuses around how to make agriculture successful in Maryland. And it all begins at the University of Maryland's Plant Research Growth Facility in College Park, Maryland, where small grain breeders work alongside small grain pathologists to study and cross-pollinate the most resilient and profitable traits of Maryland's wheat. Hybrid wheat is produced with traditional plant breeding techniques, and it can be a slow go. I mean, you're watching wheat grow. Luckily, they've sped up the process. So one thing we do here is we accelerate the entire breeding process by something called speed breeding, where we trick the wheat plant into thinking winter is past. And so instead of getting one breeding cycle a year, we're getting four breeding cycles a year. So we're quicker, faster, and more productive in our wheat breeding program than almost anywhere else you can look. With the speed breeding complete, Maryland's future wheat seeds are sent to the 920-acre Central Maryland Research and Education Center located in Clarksville, Maryland for planting, and a lot of hands-on study. It's been seven months since planting, and each one of these hedgerows is one seed variant of Maryland wheat. Wheat diseases are responsible for 15 to 25 percent of yield loss. Names like powdery mildew, fusarium head blight, tan spot and leaf rust can keep a farmer up at night. But UMD's wheat pathogen research is already showing marked reductions in some diseases. Hey, what's up? What you guys are doing here? We're just scoring for rust right now. You absolutely see no rust postural development on these leaves whatsoever. And what is the background of this line? I believe it's a, a Jagger mutant line that we're working with currently right now. Oh, wow, so you got a jagger line that is resistant to leaf rust and scab? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. This is, this is amazing. Discoveries are sprouting up all over this crop. Straw strength is good. Andy Schoen and his team have been breeding for higher yields. A big thing that we're looking at is spike length and straw strength, because you can have a really nice big fat spike that's going to give you a lot of fat seeds, but if it isn't able to make it through the winter and through the storms, it's not going to do you any good. You know, we live in a time now where we have a, a big toolbox of, of ways to be able to do this, a lot of technologies that go along with breeding, but at the end of the day, it's going to be going in the field and looking at them with our own eyes and selecting the ones that are going to produce a good product for the farmers around here. The University of Maryland's research teams will return to this field every week for the next two months monitoring the crop's progress. Until finally, it's harvest time. The wheat is at its peak, and Maryland's research teams are back and searching for plants with the best disease resistance, strongest stalks, and highest yields. One thing, if you look at this, like a nice golden color, showing that the stems are clean, that they're not a lot of disease on them. The heads don't have a lot of disease on them. We have these nice big golden red seeds that they, we don't see any disease on them. Once all the variants' qualities have been logged, it's time to cut, tag, and bag the seeds. But it's a delicate process. Some lines may carry diseases, so they need to keep all variant seeds separated to make certain each line is pure for future testing in the lab. There is one question, however, that can only be answered in the field. 
As the combine collects the wheat kernels, it monitors moisture, weight, and most importantly, its yield. In 2021, Maryland's average yield was 71 bushels per acre. All the work Dr. Tawari and his team has put into making a more resilient wheat comes down to what this crop yields. Oh, hot dog, 110 bushels. Is that good? Oh, yeah. That is a 43% improvement. And just in time, it's been suggested that by 2050, agriculture will need to produce about 50% more food to offset population growth. The wheat Dr. Tawari and his team are producing today will continue to improve and, within a short time, will be in the hands of Maryland farmers. I think it's going to have a huge impact. What we're doing here will help farmers be resilient and survive. Thanks for watching Maryland Farm and Harvest. We hope you liked the video. Make sure to subscribe so you won't miss out on future videos. To learn more about our show and watch full episodes, check out mpt.org farm or just click the link in the description.